Right, Padmasana or Sukhasana, your choice. But growing the spine nice and long and tall. And today we're going to take our mudra for openness. So the middle finger and thumb come together today. And drawing in the other, just gently curling the other two fingers, the ring and uh, um, little finger. So it's the middle finger and thumb that come together and the pointer finger points. So this is the mudra for openness. Closing your eyes and bringing yourself into this moment, being guided by your breath. So this mudra for openness is to open the windows of your soul, the windows of your heart. So imagine yourself sitting on top of a mountain, enjoying the views, really bask in this glorious view, the view of the world in front of you, all of its majesty. Feeling the pure, fresh mountain air on this morning. Fresh new energy coming in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing in really deeply, filling your lungs, filling your chest, and filling the space around your heart. As you inhale, you are inhaling this beautiful life force prana, cosmic life energy, entering into your body and filling up each cell with fresh new energy. Bringing this energy into and around your heart space, your heart center. So this prana clears and heals you. Your heart energy, which is the energy of love, holds the highest frequency and vibration. This energy is very, very healing. So bringing in your energy, your prana into your heart center, into your heart space. Feeling your heart expand in all directions. So taking in deep lungfuls of this beautiful crisp mountain air. Pure, fresh air. I am open for what is of beauty and good. I accept. I accept it all with gratitude and thankfulness. Into my body, into my heart. So instead of thinking of all of the things we have to do today beyond our practice. Let's take a moment here to consider what we are grateful for. It can be our shelter, the amenities that we receive pretty effortlessly into our homes, the food that is bountiful, that fills the stores of our cupboards, the warmth and comfort of our bed, our clothing, all of our home comforts, and then our family and our animals and pets, friends, family, all of the people that surround you, your community. Even the internet that's connecting us now, helping us to bring us together for moments like this, enabling us to share our love together and our gratitude together. We are so fortunate to have these things in our life. So take this moment of stillness 
as you sit atop your mountain, your home, your place of security and safety. And set your positive intention now with a heart full of abundant gratitude and love. So setting your intention, I am. I am. Picture your intention that resonates deeply within your heart. Repeat it a few times, silently or out loud. And now slowly opening up your eyes, release your hands, give your hands a little shake out, stretch your arms to the sky, bring your hands together, look up to your thumbs, take a deep breath in, fill your lungs and fill your heart, so breathe into your heart space. Bring that fresh new energy into your heart. Hold it there. Hold the breath in. Feel the chest, feel the heart expand. And then exhale, <sighs> sigh it out. So releasing your legs if you were in Padmasana Lotus. Let's bring some energy up through the body. So this is what we call in quantum touch an energy hands-on sweep. So how we do that is we take our hands down to our feet. We can bend the knees and have to have straightened legs. So be comfortable. So we breathe in from our feet as we take our hands up the legs. So you're breathing in with a light touch all the way up to the crown of the head. So breathing in all the way to the top. And then as you exhale, crossing the hands across the head, sliding the hands down the sides of the head, down the opposite arms to the palms of the hands. So if you imagine that's the breath in and that's the breath out, that you're drawing up to find a universal prana. In to the top of the head, Exhaling all the way down to the palms of your hands. Let's do that one more time. So just charging up all the cells in the body. And now picture that breathing sequence in and out and then take your energy to your heart center. So breathing in, you can do that in your imagination, in your mind's eye, breathing in. Energy lifts. And then exhale, take it into your heart space. So expanding the heart space. So working on bringing energy into your heart. So we're going to start to move a little bit more dynamically now. So take yourself into a cross-legged seated position. We're gonna to inhale to reach up. Exhale, float the arms down. Begin to draw up into your pelvic floor and draw your navel to spine. So nice straight back, fully supported by your lower bundles. Exhale, two more. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale. Coming over into your tabletop Vidalasana position. Starting with some cat cows. So setting those up. Pointer fingers pointing to the top of your mat. Spin the inner creases of your elbows forwards. Open up that heart space. So giving your heart lots of space to breathe. Knees hip distance apart, feet pushed into the floor. 
Inhale to lift the heart and gaze. And the tailbone. Exhale to tuck. Chin to chest. Dome the space between the shoulder blades. Inhale, lift. Exhale to tuck. Inhale to lift. Exhale to tuck. Let's take one more. Inhale, draw navel to spine. Keep the bundles fully engaged. Pelvic floor lift. Squeeze and lift. And now tuck your toes. We're going to hover the knees. Just an inch or two off the mat. Really protract into the shoulder blades. We're going to take five breaths here. So really squeeze into the thighs. Pull navel to spine. Engage into your abdominal area. Ujjayi sounding breaths are really swirling energetically. The breath in through the nose, into the throat. Two more breaths. And lower the knees down. Now take, the, t untuck in the toes and take hands closer to your knees, just in front. So from here, we're going to take our bottoms down towards our heels. So we're about to sit into um, Virasana, but our hands are down. We're going to open the chest up. So it's like you're taking a cow pose. So you're going to breathe in. And then as you exhale, we're going to bring your weight into your hands. Squeeze and lift the spine. So breathe. Exhale. So tuck the tailbone under. We're going to progress this a little bit further in a moment. Do two more of those. Exhale. Pr pressing your hands into the floor. Exhale, taking up the next level. So take a breath in as we did. And this time as you exhale, push into the hands, lift the hips up, straight up the legs. Lower it down, inhale. Exhale, press into the hands, squeeze navel to spine, push into the hands, drop the head, look to navel. Inhale. Exhale, push and lift. Now, if you can't roll over on the toes, then you can tuck your toes under. Let's do one more. So, really lift the chest, lift the heart, feel the energy there. Exhale, look to your navel, squeeze and lift, and then lower the knees down. Taking hold of your wrists, give them a little rotation, continuous articular rotations, both directions. Nice squeeze, compression into the wrist as well. Give the wrists a generous shake out. I don't see an app for that. Oh. You'll need to down. <laughs> that was Siri. <laughs> Excuse me, Siri. <laughs> Didn't ask him anything. <laughs> Lifting the hips up. Dog. So first, in a whole doing this, that Siri has spoken to <laughs> on. Okay. Okay, so navel spine walk out dog. Taking your heels to the right. Keep your hands exactly as they are. Hold it here. Take another two deep breaths in and out. Feel a lovely stretch down the side body. Any little hips. Hands. Take your feet hip distance apart if you feel you need to. Grab hold of opposite elbows and take some generous sway side to side. Checking in on the neck, releasing tension. Nod the head generously, yes, and shake the head, no. Then nice big circles, draw some circles with the nose. Both directions.
And then take your feet, being aware of your feet, rooted to the earth. Let's take ourselves up to standing nice and slowly by curling up. First, keeping the arms nice and loose, tucking the tailbone, the pelvis under. And then coming up super slow with the head arriving last. Let's take some sun salutations. Bring the feet together, toes together. Heels a little apart, so there's a, a nice V-shaped wedge between the feet. Spread the toes wide, so maybe lift the toes, open the toes, and then root them down with lots of space. Lift the inner arches of the feet, connect into your thighs and lift into the kneecap, so really engage into the legs. Take a new neutral pelvic tilt. We'll roll the shoulders back and down, open up across the chest, feel the sternum open, the heart space open, but without flaring the lower ribs. A little tuck of the chin to chest to lengthen the back of the neck. Checking in with the flow of your breath into your heart space, so breathing in from your feet all the way up to the crown of the head. And then allowing the energy to flow down into your heart space, expand your heart space energy. Surya Namaskar A, inhale, sweep the arms wide, look up to your thumbs. Exhale, float the arms down. Plant the hands firmly to the earth. Inhale to come onto your fingertips or hands. Plant the hands to the floor, hold the breath as you step into a strong powerful plank let's squeeze into the thighs and hold your plank here for five breaths one more deep breath in drop the knees back drop the elbows and then slow coming into some untuck the toes roll the toes back and down let's hold it here for five breaths so pressing into the hands keep your gaze down two more breaths then pushing into the hands imagine somebody's pulling you from a thread from your tailbone Come into Ardha Uttanasana, that position. Just focusing on the alignment of the body. So, flattening the back, stretching the back of the legs, gaze forwards. Reach forwards. Forward. Holding down over the legs. Grab the head reaching down to the front. Then squeezing the 
arms wide, lifting up to Urdhva Hastasana. Send your hips forwards and your hands slightly back. Feel a lovely openness in the front of the body. Look up to your thumbs. Let's flow down. Exhale. Inhale, half lift. Plant the hands. Hold the breath as you hop down or jump back into your plank. Exhale through Chaturanga this time if you're ready. Or knees, chest, chin. Inhale. Into Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Upward facing dog. Lift the heart. Let's stay here for a few breaths. So if you're in your upward facing dog, hover the thighs off the mat. Roll the shoulders back and down. Push into the hands, really activate into the hands. Feel your heart lift up to the earth, up to the sky, up to the heaven. Receiving that divine love energy. Love is a divine expression. Then imagining somebody's pulling you from your tailbone, that golden thread from your coccyx bone. Squeeze your navel to spine, push into the hands. Let's move with super slow awareness into the body, into downward facing dog. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Feeling the flow of the energy through the body into your heart energy space. Next breath in, lifting the heels high, so on the balls of the feet, draw your thighs in towards your belly, gaze to that space between the hands. So we're going to hop, step or jump forwards. On an exhale. Inhale, half lift. Scoop the belly up, exhale, deeply forward fold. Plant the hands to the floor, bend the knees if you need to. Root the feet to the earth. Inhale, reach. Let's do the flow one more time, but a little bit more swiftly. Exhale. A little bit more fluidly. Inhale. Really move with your breath. Synchronize your movements with your breath. Exhale to lower. Keep the elbows tucked. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Two breaths. Continuously feeling the energy lift from your feet to the crown of your head, back into your heart. Inhale, lift the heels, look forwards. Exhale to hop, step, jump to arrive at the top. Inhale to lift the heart and gaze. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms wide. Look up to your thumbs. And then taking your hands to your heart center. Samastitihi. Close your eyes. And then open your eyes. Bend the knees. Bring the legs nice and close together. Squeeze them. Engage. Coming into chair pose. Utkatasana. Lifting the arms up. So creating that lightning bolt shape with the body. Squeeze into the abdominal area. Lifting the heart once more between the space, between the hands. Look up to that ball of energy there. Heart energy. Then exhale, forward fold. Hold Transition your way into plank. Exhale, lower down, your choice. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, into warrior Inhaling to kick the right leg to the sky, then step forwards between the hands, drop the back foot at a 45 degree angle. Coming into warrior one, but with a reverse prayer or clasping opposite elbows. So what we want to do is open the chest, lift the heart, give yourself space to expand your heart energy. Looking to the sky. So bending into the front leg, straight back. Take one more deep breath in and out. Exhale, release the hands. Frame the front foot. Inhale, step back into plank. Exhale, lower your choice. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Three-legged dog. 
kick it forwards, step forwards, drop the back heel 45 degrees, coming into your reverse prayer hands on the left side. So bending into your front leg, straightening into the back. Hips facing forwards, you're not looking to the side. Hips and chest facing forwards. Opening the chest up. Two more breaths. Take a big breath in, release the hands. Exhale, into plank. Lower it down. Your choice, inhale up dog. Down dog, exhale for just one breath. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, and up, step or jump, exhale. Breath in to lift, breath out to lower. Breath in into chair, breath out forward. Breath in for half lift, hold the breath and plant the hands up, jump back, exhale, lower. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, moving a little bit quickly now. Inhale, right leg to the sky, step it forwards and keep on the ball of the back foot this time. Into Ashta Chandrasana with cactus arms. It's really lengthening into the back leg, so squeeze into that thigh, push into the front big toe. Lift your gaze if you can. A little bit of a balance going on. You wobble, that's okay. Big breath in, reach forwards, frame the front foot. Into plank and exhale, lower. Up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. Left leg to the sky, three-legged dog, breathing in, exhale, step it forwards. You're on the ball of the back foot, push into the front foot to the left, big toe. Cactus your arms, spread your fingers wide. Squeeze into the thigh of the back leg. So you're driving that heel away behind you. Generous bend into the front foot, into the front leg, sorry. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Reach forwards, frame the front foot. Inhale to plank, exhale, lower down. Chaturanga Dandasana, or knees, chest, chin, your choice. Urdhva Mukhashwanasana, up dog, down dog, exhale. One breath. Strong breath in and out. Inhale to bend the knees, look forwards. Exhale to arrive at the top your way. Breath in to lift halfway. Exhale deeply forward fold. Bring the feet and legs together, coming into chair. Last round. Exhale forward fold. Up doggy. Half lift on a breath in. Forward fold and lower down. Exhaling, inhale to lift. Down dog, exhale, press into the hands, lift the leg on the name breath, the right leg to the sky. Step it forwards, drop the back foot down to warrior one. Bring your hands together, look up to your thumbs. Two more steady breaths, bending into the front leg. Frame the front foot. Inhale into the plank, exhale lower. Now dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Feeling nice and warm now. Breath in, left leg to the sky. Step it forwards, drop the back heel. Warrior one, hands together. Bend into the front foot, leg. Reaching forwards. Inhale, into plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Hover above the mat if you can. Inhale, up dog. Down dog, exhale. Take a nice deep breath to fill the lungs. Open the breath, open the mouth to sigh the breath out. Breath in. Sigh the breath out. Bend the knees, look forwards. Up, step or jump up to the top. Inhale, exhale. Into chair. Let's hold it here.
and then we're going to transition down to a side plank so forward fold half lift plant the hands hop step or jump back into the drop the knees down coming into a side plank right hand down right knee down extend the left leg open the chest to the side reaching the left hand to the sky so starting here and then lifting your left leg parallel to the earth lower it down and then see if you can bring both feet one in front of the other into Vasisthasana. Bringing your top leg into tree pose. Smile on the face, let's transition over to the other side. Left knee down. Right arm extends to the sky, right leg extends. Then lifting the right leg up parallel to the earth. Flex the foot, really squeeze into the thigh. Two more breaths. Bring it down. One foot in front of the other. Lift the hips up, engage into the left side. Bringing the right foot onto the left leg. We squeeze into the waist. Big breath in. Look down to your front foot. Release the back. Hold it here. Squeeze into the thighs. And walk the feet up. All the way to the top. Big breath in. Exhale, fully fold down. And clasping the hands behind the back. Lifting the arms to the sky. Lowering the head down towards the legs. Take a little bend in the knees, a little micro bend. Two more deep breaths. And then hugging behind the backs of the legs. Folding down a little bit closer. Belly to thigh, crown of the head reaching down to the earth. Release the legs of the arms, engage into the feet, drawing yourself up to standing, nice and slowly. Bringing the hands together above the head to so take a little swaying palm tree. So feet together, legs together. Arms by the ears, hands together in Atmanjali Mudra, breathing in. Reaching to the left, hips to the right. Breathe in and out here. Take a big breath in to come to center. And exhale, sway to the right. So the hips are trying to jut to the left as the arms reach to the right. Squeeze into the side. Inhale to center, one more each way. Inhale to center. Exhale over to the right last time. And release the arms. Taking a big step out with your right foot. Turn the right foot out to face the front of the mat and turn the left foot in. So you're on an imaginary center line. If you don't have a line down the center of your mat, reach the arms wide. And then reach to the right. Jut your left hip as far to the left as you can. So imagine somebody's pulling you by the right fingertips. Reach, 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 go a little bit further, a little further, and then bring the right hand by the inner calf. Reach up, 12 o'clock, six o'clock the arms and tuck the tail bone under. Look up to your top hand, and then bring your right hand to your heart. Feel your heart beating, expanding with energy. And then reaching your arms alongside your ears, squeeze into the thighs, 
Big breath in and out. Bend into your front leg. Reach your arms to the sky. Lower the arms down into your warrior two. Look to your front hand. Maybe slide the feet a little further apart if you can. Drop into the hips. Spaciousness into the heart, into the chest. And then looking to the top of your mat, open the arms wide. We're going to bring our weight into our right foot. So start to step the left foot in and then move a little bit away from my wall, coming into warrior C. So lifting the left leg up, balancing on the right, arms wide, and then reaching the arms forwards. Bringing the hands down to the floor. Lift the leg up, the left leg up a little high. You can clasp hold of the right foot. And then into the ugly dancer. So keeping the left foot off the floor, you're going to bring your left hand in front of your left knee. Coming up to standing using all of your balancing skills. Reach your right arm back. So counterbalancing the right arm with the left leg with a hand on the knee. Two more breaths. And slowly release the feet back down. I'm gonna to go to the other end of the mat so that I don't face my back to you. So now we're stepping the right foot back, coming into Trikonasana. So reaching the arms wide, legs straight, front heel, back inner arch. We're jutting the right hip out, reaching with the left hand. Reach, 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 and then bring it down. Open the heart, the chest, lift it forwards and up. Tuck the tailbone under, make sure you're not sticking your bottom out behind you. And then bring your hands to your heart center. Look up to your top hand. And then reaching your arms alongside your ears, squeeze into the side waist. Two more breaths, hold it there and bending into the front knee. Coming into your warrior two. You can slide the feet a little bit further apart so that your front knee doesn't extend over the ankle. Sink into the hips, look to your front hand. Put a smile on your face. Sink a little lower. And then coming into warrior C. So we're gonna be stepping into our left foot, reaching our arms wide to the side. So reaching the arms wide. Squeeze into the belly area, really engage into your torso. Reaching your arms forwards and then planting the hands down. You can take your left hand around the left ankle. So using your right hand on the floor as a counterbalance, lift your right leg to the sky, lower your head down towards your leg. This might be a wobbly side, it certainly is mine. And then coming into Ugly Dancer. So pressing really strong into the big toe of the left foot. Take your right hand on front of your right knee. Don't worry if you wobble. Left arm reaches back, providing you with that counterbalance. Find a spot on the floor for your drishti, your gaze. Take another three more breaths here. and lowering the legs and arms down. So let's take a vinyasa, inhale, exhale, to lower, inhale to half lift, plant the hands, hop down for jump. Lower it down, up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. Kicking the right leg to the sky and stepping it forwards. Coming into a runner's lunge. 
So really sinking the hips down and then taking the right shoulder behind the right leg and hold onto your right ankle. Squeezing into the left thigh really strong. Two more breaths. Hands back down. Now if you need to do this next bit with your knee down to start, then take your knee down. So taking our hands to a heart center and then rotating. Paravrita Pasvottanasana, revolving your chest to the right, bringing your heart to your hands, looking over your right shoulder. So you can do this with the knee down, or you can do it with the back leg extended. Really squeeze into that thigh, drive the back heel away. Three more deep breaths. Inhaling and exhaling. Heel toe the foot across, coming into pigeon. Looking up, lifting the heart up to the sky. And then coming into half dove, so extending the arms forwards. Two more breaths. Then inhale to slide the hands back. I'm going to switch sides. We're going to press into the hands, coming into a plank and into down dog. And then stepping the left leg forward so we're in the left side, taking the left shoulder behind the leg, behind the knee, and taking hold of the ankle. Squeeze into the back leg thigh. Two or three more breaths here. If you're feeling wobbly, that's to be expected. We're actually balancing here. So lots of little movements, micro movements into the muscles, tendons and ligaments. Really having to focus. Release the ankle. Coming into that Paravita Paswatanasana. So either having the knee down or the leg lifted. Hand to heart centers, you twist and take your right elbow across your left knee. Lift your heart to your hands, looking over your right shoulder, really squeeze into that back leg, extend it as straight as you can, or have the knee down, your choice. Two more breaths. We squeeze navel to spine, big breath in. Release the hands back to the floor. Heel toe your foot down. You can drop the knee down now to the floor. Coming into a pigeon pose. Hips facing forwards. Chest and heart lifts. Two more breaths. Open the chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Back and down. And then reaching the arms forwards. Allowing the head to rest onto the mat, caressing the armpits down to the floor, enjoying this moment. Releasing, letting go. Sliding the hands back, taking a little vinyasa. So downward facing dog. Bend the knees, look forwards, hop, step or jump up to the top. Breath in, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Take a big step out to the left. Coming into our goddess pose. So my heels come in. Oh, feel the hips clicking there. So the heels are in, the toes are out. Bring your hands to your heart center. Lift your right heel. Lift your left heel. Have a little play lifting both heels off. Five breaths. Sink a little lower with the hips. Keeping the chest lifted.
drop the heels and then taking the feet a little bit wider take the outer blades of the feet hip to, so that they're parallel to the floor and the hands to the hips inhale lift and lengthen open the chest up exhale and from the hips forward fold down keeping the hands and the hips to start then reaching the hands to the outer blades of the feet or the big toes you can take the peace fingers around the toes drop the head to the floor Bring your weight forwards into the toes if your crown of the head touches down. Deep, steady breath. Squeeze and lift into your bandhas. Mula bandha, Udiana bandha. Lift the elbows high. Open up across the upper back. Inhale to lift. And then taking your hands to your back. Clasp the hands together, lift the arms up. Slowly releasing the hands to centre, hug the elbows close, push into the hands and heel toe the feet a little bit closer together. Coming back to Goddess arms to the sky so palms together working nice and strong into the hips another two or three breaths sink the hips down a little lower take the heels in a bit more and then reaching forwards take your hands onto your ankles pushing the elbows into the knees take your gaze forward so lift the gaze Drop the hips a little lower if you can. One more deep breath in and out. And then heel toe the feet together. Step to the front of your mat. Take a big breath in, sweep the arms wide. Exhale, forward fold. Lift the heart and gaze. Plant the hands, hop, step or jump back. And this time just drop the knees to the floor. And lower your bodies down. Make a pillow for your head. Maybe rock the hips from side to side. And then bring the legs together. Reaching the arms forwards. Reaching up on a breath in. Hold your locust. And then reach your arms to the side. One more deep breath in. Squeeze and lift a little higher with the legs, with the arms reaching sideways. And then coming down. Roll the shoulders forwards. Make a little, put your head to one side. So just relax, allowing the head to relax. Press into the floor with the hands coming up. Drive the hips forward, open the chest, lift the heart, feel the openness occur in the chest. Taking the hands down one at a time to the heels. If you can't reach the heels, then keep the hands onto the hips. Drive the pelvis forwards, open up the heart, the heart space. Take another three deep breaths here. Keep pushing the hips forwards. And then into rabbit, drop the head down, hands under the heels, head close to the knees, chin to chest, lift the hips up. So rolling the spine, the opposite way, scoop the belly, scoop it up. Release down into child's pose. And then going over onto our backs. 
to finish. Let's take a little inversion first. So rolling down nice and slowly. Bring your heels in nice and close to the buttocks, hip distance apart, keep the thighs parallel as you roll yourself up into a bridge. Feel the deep breaths arrive into the belly. See the belly rise and fall. Take the hips a little bit higher if you want to tuck the hands underneath the lower back. For a supported bridge. Two more breaths. And releasing the spine back down, curling down nice and slowly. Take your knees to your chest. From here, plant the hands down, palms down, push into the hands to roll up onto the shoulders. Now don't move your head from side to side. You can clasp the hands underneath you in a way, little fingers down, coming into plow, squeeze into the thighs, and then push into the hands, preparing for shoulder stand. Take your hands to the lower back, keep the elbows tucked nice and close together, so forming a nice tripod support for the lower back. Squeeze into the thighs, lift either one leg at a time or both legs together. Lifting the hips up nice and high. Squeeze into your pelvic floor, mula bandha, and navel to spine. Chin to chest, naturally here in Dalandara Bandha. Floint or point your toes, your choice, wherever feels best. Take 10 deep breaths. And then when you're ready, bend the knees, drop the knees down to the forehead. Extend the legs and arms, palms facing down for the hands and using your hands as brakes and using the strength of your abdominal muscles to lower the legs down. Keep the legs straight if you can, point the toes. Transitioning directly into Matsyasana. Fish pose, extend the legs. Hug the elbows in nice and close when you feet touch down. Then open the heart and chest. Lift up nice and high and dropping the head down without over squeezing the back of the neck. Deep belly breaths. Coming into Tana Padasana if you wish. So keeping the head and the chest exactly as it is, bringing the hands together to reach to the sky, squeezing to the thighs and lifting the legs about 45 degrees. Strong squeeze of the legs and into the abdominal area. Two more breaths. And then lowering the legs down. Elbows down to the floor, hands to the outside of thighs, squeezing to the legs to assist you to lift the head. And then lowering the chest down, take your arms wide. Bring your feet in and drop the knees from side to side. And rolling the head side to side also. Bringing the feet together. Rock the hips side to side. And then extend the legs. If you want to take a cushion or a bolster, Place the under legs, take a blanket over your body or pop on any items of clothing so that you don't get cold. Find your comfortable relaxation position. If you wish, you can even place your legs up the wall just for some drainage in the legs if that is what you need today. So listen with loving compassion to what your body needs. 
So beginning to take some awareness back to the breath. Let's ride the crest of the wave of the breath. But without forcing it in any particular way, just let it rise and fall naturally. Feeling the chest expand and the heart space expand. Checking in with how you feel, how the body is feeling now in this moment. Without needing to change anything, just accepting what is, is. Softening the muscles of the face. Bringing a gentle smile to the corner of the lips. Softening the hair, the scalp, the neck and throat. Feeling the contact of the floor with the back of the head. Feeling the shoulders, softening into the shoulders, sinking them down into the mat. Backs of the arms, the elbows, the hands, the forearms. Feeling the upper back, the waist, the lower back, hips and buttocks. Pressing down gently into the floor, sinking down. Feeling the spaciousness of your chest expanding, opening up. Feeling the abdominal area soften. The thighs, the hamstring, the knees, the shins, the calves, the ankles and feet. taking a loving scan of your body. Looking upon yourself as you would a dear friend with complete love, gratitude and compassion. And then dropping your attention into your heart space. Anahata chakra, your heart chakra. Taking your focus there. Feeling your heart beating. And now picturing a color that you love in this space. Bringing in the divine love of the world into your heart space and filling it with that color. Feeling it expand and grow into every space in your body, into every cell. Knowing that the love of the universe is <clears throat> infinite. Filling your heart space, filling your whole body with this divine love. Saying to yourself, I am love. I give love to me. I intend love to my world. So being love, and giving love. Love, the greatest, strongest vibrational energy of all. Using this healing energy for yourself and for others. Sharing your love and being your love. Let it pervade your whole being. Be the very expression of this love. Taking a few more soothing, loving breaths. Feeling the smile on your face and smiling with your heart. 
wiggling your fingers and toes. Reaching your arms overhead brings your legs together. Give yourself the stretch. Take a lovely deep breath in, breathing in love. Sigh your love out, share your love. Bring your knees to your chest, tug them in. Give yourself a loving hug. And then rolling over onto your right side and then coming up to your seated position in your own time. Keeping your eyes closed if you can or the gaze low. Coming back to a seated position as we began. And then giving your hands a little rub together. Warm them up, charge them up with energy. Energy that's in your body. And just pressing your hands onto your heart space. Feeling your love. Feeling the divine love of the universe within you. And then honoring yourself, honoring that love with gratitude. Giving thanks. The light in me honors the light in you and the love in you. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely Thursday, everybody. I will see you here tomorrow morning. Not sure what we're going to do yet, but I'm sure we'll do something. Take care. See you soon.